Okay, today we are with Ray D. Lewis and Keiko with Ray D. Lewis and TNT Praise. We're in Tokyo, Japan, and they just finished a concert, a gospel concert, uh, near Tokyo Station. So today we want to interview them and find out a little bit about uh, them and their group. Uh, first I wanted to say I uh, went to the concert and I filmed it and I was very impressed. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it uh, very professional. Uh, the singing ability was fantastic. Everybody that sang was great. Uh, Keiko-san, her voice is amazing. Yeah, and, and Ray, you you were awesome, dude. You, you got a great voice, but also your dancing ability was good. I have to tell you, I think I think the I grew up in the 70s and so I kind of watched those groups in the 70s like the Temps and the Tops and I was thinking man you missed your calling you could have totally been Motown Thank you yeah I would have loved to have seen you in Motown because you'd have fit right in with those guys <laughs> but anyway yeah really really great performance and I really really enjoyed it but so I wanted to ask you guys a, a few questions uh, and first I wanted to just say uh, Ray where does your inspiration come from for your music? Uh, my inspiration comes from my mom you know, my mom was an uh, opera singer and uh, she taught me, you know, about singing, and you know, uh, and I would play piano for her, and so that's when I first started learning to play piano. But um, I grew up listening to gospel music and, you know, uh, show tunes and musicals because of my mom, you know. So it's a mixture of, of that. I see. What about um, some of the gospel legends? Mm -hmm. Do you particularly look up to any of the the past gospel legends, or even people today that are performing in the Gospel arena. Uh, yes, yes. I, I love uh, Fred Hammond. You know, I listen to him a lot. His music and uh, uh, Donnie McClurkin, and, uh, and um, also there's uh, Israel Houghton. Houghton. Don't mean this. Houghton. Yeah. His name is a little difficult for me to pronounce. Yet. You know. And then C.C. Winans. We did one of the songs from C.C. Winans today. And so yeah, I love these people. I see. I see. And I know Keiko's English is a little bit limited, but I wanted to ask her, um, what are some of her musical inspirations? Mm. I was listening to classic music every day um, since I was little, little baby. So, so soft music. So, like, who are some of the classical composers that you particularly enjoy? Brock, I mean Bach, Brahms, Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, Everything. Rome? Just all of them? Yeah. Okay. So I was uh, learning piano, but uh, I gave up uh, the piano, but uh, mm. I love, I love, I was loving music, mm -hmm. and also I realized some, one day I realized I love singing. I said to piano, mm -hmm. piano, I love piano, but I realized oh, I love singing. So I started to sing. It's a little surprising such a big voice can come out such of a small, you know. <laughs> yeah, and that's always a surprise. You had actually a couple of singers with you tonight that were just also amazing, mm -hmm. hitting the high notes. Mm -hmm. Um, now, Ray, tell me a little bit about your background. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, uh, originally from New Orleans. And so um, I grew up uh, just uh, playing the trumpet. I started on the trumpet. And then uh, from there, some friends of mine started teaching me how to play piano. Uh, so in high school, I was learning how to play the piano. And uh, my mom had a friend who could play uh, and was a teacher. And he taught me the basics you know, of uh, the piano. And then from there on, I started, like, I, was, I had a, an ex-girlfriend whose brother was the leader of the church choir. And he taught me also, he said, just sit down and play, you know, play what you hear. And so I would just sit and play with him on Sunday services. And then when I went to my church, I started going to church. Then I, I was able to sit down again and just learn and grow, you know, and learning gospel music. And some wonderful musicians that could play, you know, everything, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. I think you also mentioned that you have actually three different groups in Japan. Can uh, you sort of summarize those for us? Yes, we have uh, Ray D. Lewis and True Praise, which is the first group 
that I started here back in 2000. And then uh, at this, around the same time, we started Nagano Gospel Praise in Nagano City. And then uh, about two years ago, right? Two years ago? Yes. We started uh, another group called True Hearts of Praise. And they're in Inzai. Inzai? Inzai. Inzai City. Where is that located? What's that Shiba. near? Shiba. Shiba. Ah, okay. Shiba Newtown Chuo. I see. Mm -hmm. So I go from Tokyo to Nagano, then come back and then go to Inzai. Mm. And come back on, you know, You're a so, busy guy. Yeah, we teach like seven classes. Wow. You know, so Monday through Saturday. What are, your, what are your plans? What are your goals for the future for these groups? What do you have in mind for the future next year, five years, ten years down the road? Yeah, well, this was the second year that we brought everybody together. So we hope to keep doing that, bringing everybody together once a year for a big concert event. You know, if not Christmas concert, maybe a spring live, you know, or another concert we can bring everybody together to sing gospel. And then uh, I want to do like CDs and different things like that. I hope to do in the future, you know, with the groups. You know, we've already done one CD uh, called One True God with uh, True Praise. You know, and that's on the website. You can hear, you know, some of those and see the videos on that. You know. Well, and that kind of leads me to my last question. That is, where can your fans find your music and find information about your future concerts? Mm -hmm. uh, we have two websites. One is www.truepraise21.com. Truepraise21.com. Uh -huh. Okay. And the other one is www. RDL-TruePraise.com Repeat that first part. R? R-D-L. Oh, like Ray D. Lewis. Yeah, Ray D. Okay, Lewis. Okay, so RDL dash, dash, not underscore. Not underscore. But dash. TruePraise. TruePraise.com. Okay, RDL dash TruePraise.com. Okay, so either one of those they can go to. Yes. Uh -huh. So we always have like the same information on both both of the websites. Mm -hmm. One is my uh, personal website, the mm -hmm. RDL True Praise, mm -hmm. and the other one was created through the church, uh, Tokyo Hope Chapel, mm -hmm. and we just continue uh, on that website. So it has a lot of more Japanese uh, for the Japanese members and, and uh, people who uh, you know who have a hard time understanding English. Sure, sure, so sure. You can do it, go to both. I see. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add before we cut away? Okay. Makahari class. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh, at the beginning of next year, we're going to start a kids class in Makahari. It's called True Praise Kids. Makahari? Makahari. Makahari, ma yeah. Makahari Hongo mm -hmm. in Shiba. Mm -hmm. Kaihin Makahari. Mm -hmm. Kaihin Makahari. Okay. I know what Kaihin Makahari is. Mm -hmm. And if people want to find out more information about those classes, I'm guessing they can go. They can contact Keiko yeah. through the website. Through the website. Yes. Through either one of the websites. Mm, yes, Keiko is my assistant uh, for all the classes, and so if you need any information, you can contact her. Okay, so there's an email link on your website. Okay, all and right. Telephone. telephone. Telephone number two. Wow, yes. okay. All right. Anything else you guys want to mention? Have a Merry Christmas. All right. And well, a Happy New Year. Well, we're looking forward to your next concert. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. We pray the kids will be, us, be with us the next concert. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the interview, too. All right. Merry Christmas. Thank you.